everyone, I've taken this look from Erika Badu's Love of My Life music video and to learn how to do it, keep on watching. So we're going to start off by contouring our face. We're going to use the color Sincere from MAC and I'm just going to use an angle brush. So you want to go ahead and contour your face. There's no need to contour your face too much because we'll be um, using a lot of bronzer. Because there is a nice pop of color, I want this look to be sort of very bronzy and summery. Let's move on to our bronzer. I'm going to use Solar Reach from MAC, which is very nice. As you can see, hopefully, there's a little bit of red shimmer in it, which is a lovely, lovely effect. I'm just going to use a paddle brush. This one is the 136 from MAC. You want to be very, very light with the application. And remember, you want to apply your bronzer wherever the sun would naturally hit, so on the high planes of your face. So I'm going to apply it right above my eye because this is kind of a rounded part where the sun naturally hits. It's better off applying little by little instead of, like, of putting a heavy application. So as you can see, I'm just putting the product onto the skin, so middle of the forehead little bit on the side temples. Now I'm going to apply it onto the cheekbones. And I'm just blending it down into the hollow part of my cheek. Just so that it blends with my contour. But for this look I'm going a little bit heavier with the bronzer just so that you guys can see and that the camera catches it properly. Now let's move on to the lids. I'm going to use a medium brown. This one is called Cork from MAC. And I'm just going to use a fluffy brush. Now the application of color is going to be fairly easy. You firstly want to apply that onto the lid. And I'm applying it into the crease. And slowly bringing it up to the brow bone. Just slightly. Now in the video, um, we can see that there's a lot of contouring around the nose, so I'm still taking that fluffy brush. I'm going right underneath my brow, and I'm just following that natural curve underneath to the side of the bridge of my nose. And then with the rest of the color on the brush, I'm just sweeping it into the crease and blending it upwards. I'm pretty sure they use that technique because Miss Badu has wide set eyes, so there's a meaning there's a lot of space between each eye. Now I'm just recreating the look. It's not the most flattering look on someone that has similar features as me because I have kind of closed set eyes. But just for the fun of it, I'm creating exactly what I see in the video, or I try. Next, to bring just a little bit of color in the crease and a little bit of depth, I'm going to use a brown script, which is a nice brown with a lot of orange in it. I'm still using the same fluffy brush. And now you want to apply that in the crease. You just want an int of that brown in it going to mix with the medium brown and it's going to give a very nice effect. Now I'm going to use brulee onto the brow bone and I'm just going to use a pencil brush. I'm just applying that right on the brow bone and I'm blending it down into my brows. Now just to add a little bit of dimension to the eye, especially because I have kind of closed setted eyes, I'm going to use creme de miel from MAC. I don't think this part is in the video, but I'm just adding to it. And you just want to apply that onto the middle of the lid, putting a little bit of that color into the tear duct area to create a little bit of light. Then to blend everything, I'm just going back in with my fluffy brush, making sure the colors blend. Now I'm going to go and use Take Wing, which is a very, very dark brown color. I'm going to apply it with an angle brush. And you just want to run that along the lash line. Then you want to take your Stila Eye Kajal in Onyx. 
and you want to create a very very sharp line so apply it on your waterline but don't blend it down so all the way from the inner corner take your time because we really don't want the product to bleed and apply this directly onto the waterline I'm just gonna go ahead and apply mascara and my false lashes and I'll be right back so this is pretty much done with the eyes now we're gonna move on to our blush it is a very very earthy color it's called Lovejoy it is a mineralized blush from MAC you just want to take a regular blush brush and you firstly want to apply this color mostly on the outer part of the cheekbone so start at the hairline bring it downwards blend it into the contour and after kind of blend it upwards then you want to move on to the lips. You just want to start by muting them. Then I'm going to line my lips with a deep brown. This one is called Cappuccino from Lise Wetier. Then you want to take a lip brush and you just want to fade the edges a little bit and blend it into the middle of the lip. Then you want to take a skin colored lipstick. I'm going to use the number 910 from L'Oreal. I'm going back in with my lip brush and kind of blending the edges again. This time I'm very, very being generous with the blending. I'm bringing a lot of the brown into the actual lip. Now next part, I'm just going to take a Q-tip and just take off any product in the middle of the bottom lip. Just before I forget, we're going to take our eye kajal again and just make a dot between, right underneath the brow, but still in the middle of the face. Now for the final part, I'm going to take this beautiful aqua color from Cryolon Watercolors. I'm going to use my regular mixing medium, so the Lee's Wet Mixing Medium. And we're go going to be applying the line with a concealer brush. I'm mostly going to use this brush because I like the length of it and the size, the width. So I'm just taking my concealer brush with the product on it and I'm just going to run a line down my lips. Now I'm just using a little bit of gloss, clear gloss, and applying it on top. And this completes the look. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Simple.